Gymshark is a fitnesswear brand from the UK that was established in 2012. It was founded by two friends, Ben Francis and Louise Morgan. What sets Gymshark apart from all the other sportswear brands is their very authentic approach when it comes to social media marketing. When you follow Gymshark on social media, especially on Instagram and on TikTok, it doesn't feel like you're following a brand, but you're following a bunch of friends. They don't do overly branded or salesy kind of posts, but the kind of content they do share is entertaining, inspirational, and educational. And you will laugh together, cry together, and be inspired together. Check out this post, for example. Push, push, go, go, go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Imagine Nike posting something like this. So when you're on their social media, it almost feels as if you're watching your friends hanging out and being goofy. This has allowed them to become one of the most loved fitness brands online, build a highly engaged audience, and also contribute to their sales and bottom line. And speaking of bottom line, in 2016, Gymshark was named as the UK's fastest growing company in the Sunday Times Fast Track 100. In 2020, a private equity firm purchased a 21% stake in the company which valued Gymshark over 1 billion pounds. The purpose of this video is to explore key social media marketing tactics that contributed to Gymshark's rise to prominence. In this section, we will be exploring how Gymshark puts the community first, leverages influencer marketing, and capitalizes on user-generated content. Gymshark's social media strategy makes it clear that they put their community at the heart of what it does. Gymshark doesn't try to sell directly to their followers through intrusion promotions but instead as mentioned earlier they focus on content that is motivational educational and entertaining across all these social media platforms they have a total of 17.6 million followers which is amazing for such a young brand out of this 60% are from Instagram so let's drill down on their Instagram strategy one of the things that Gymshark did right on Instagram was to know their audience and to use Instagram in a hyper target way and how they did this was to have three different Instagram accounts all with different goals the main Gymshark Instagram account features its clean modern branding and is the most varied out of all the channels the content is targeted towards both men and women and showcases Gymshark events the community workout tips and also behind the scenes at the Gymshark headquarters the Gymshark women's account is all about body positivity uplifting other women in their fitness journeys and also fitness tips targeted to women The branding of this account is still in line with Gymshark's overall branding but more bright and positive. Note the use of color in their Instagram highlights. This is a smart way to appeal and grab the attention of different parts of their follower base while staying true to the brand's main identity. Though Gymshark initially targeted male beefy weightlifters, women now account for two-thirds of their sales. As Analyst points out, women are bigger spenders. And due to the rise of athleisure, fitness wear is now also worn as casual wear with many women wearing their favorite sports bras or their favorite tops inside as well as outside of the gym. And finally, Gymshark lifting. Gymshark lifting has the smallest following as it is the most niche, 
targeting full-on fitness fanatics. Gymshark Lifting hones in on daily videos that are focused on upping your workout game and training hard. Wherever on the fitness spectrum that you fall, there will be something for you across Gymshark's social media accounts. This is a great example of knowing your target audience and showing them what they want to see. Point number two, how they leverage influencer marketing. Back in 2012-2013, influencer marketing wasn't a thing, but Ben Francis thought it would be cool if he could send some Gymshark products to his heroes, for them to wear in their videos and get feedback from them. Check out this snippet right here where he talks about it. I was absolutely obsessed with YouTube. Whilst I was working, I remember watching Scott Herman and Scooby, every single video that they would ever upload. Um, Matt Ogus, Chris Lovado, uh, Jeff Side, Lex, Alan, just watch them all the time. And as massive fans, we decided to send them the Gymshark product. Lex was the first person to ever get Gymshark product, the, the first Gymshark athlete. I remember when he got it and he gave us his feedback and he uploaded a video in it. It was just the coolest thing ever. At the time, no one else was doing this. Uh, now it's called influencer marketing, but at the time it just came totally natural to us as we were just fans of the guys, I guess. He established early partnerships with fitness YouTubers such as Nikki Blackheather and Lex Griffin, where they agreed to wear Gymshark products exclusively in their YouTube videos. As Black Catter and Griffin are two of the world's top fitness YouTubers, millions of their fans saw their favorite athletes in Gymshark clothing. This exposed millions of customers to Gymshark while casting this up-and-coming brand in a cool light. With some successful YouTube influencer partnerships under their belt, Gymshark moved on to bigger and better influencer marketing campaigns. Ben Francis began targeting influencers on different social media platforms which allowed them to reach new audiences. And this was also the beginning of what the brand calls its Gymshark athlete community. At the heart of Gymshark's genius marketing, they created a community that everyone wants to be part of. This community is highly inclusive and features content of people supporting each other, reaching their personal best, and having fun together. So whether you are just starting out in your fitness journey or you are currently a gym junkie, being exposed to the Gymshark athlete community is like being part of a family that propels you forward and inspires you to be and do your best. And finally, after seeing success with influencer marketing on YouTube and on Instagram, they replicated the same strategy for TikTok and also saw amazing results. Gymshark collaborated with leading TikTok influencers such as Melanie Walken, Ripka Twins, and Laurie L to promote their brand and campaigns. And interestingly enough, these partnerships are recognized as a vital pillar of Gymshark's global success. Now the third point is harnessing user-generated content. And I'm gonna stick with TikTok for this example. In January of 2019, Gymshark launched their 66-day challenge where they encourage their followers to document their fitness journey and show before and after videos of themselves during the 66 days. The winners will win a one-year supply of gym wear clothing. This campaign completely blew up and the hashtag Gymshark66 generated over 193 million views. To sum up, the essential social media marketing strategies that contributed to Gymshark's success is that they fostered an interactive community, embraced influencer marketing, and harnessed user-generated content for reach and awareness. Some key insights and takeaways is that authenticity is key. The second thing is that they tested a lot of different things and doubled down on what works for them. And last but not least, don't be salesy on your social media accounts and tell compelling stories. I hope you are inspired and I encourage you to use the lessons here on your own social media marketing activities. And that's it guys. I hope you found this useful. I make videos about growth and marketing. So if you want to keep on receiving more videos like this, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for watching till the end. Love you. Bye.